In this question, we're looking for the limit as x goes to negative infinity of the square root of 2x to the 4 plus 11x minus 1 over x squared plus 4x minus 6. Well, in the numerator, we see that we can factor out the square root of x to the 4, leaving us in the second square root with 2 plus 11 over x cubed minus 1 over x to the 4. And if you're not sure of that, uh, imagine that x to the 4 being distributed in and you'll see that you would end up with what's in the numerator originally. In the denominator, we can factor out x squared, and we're left in the second factor with 1 plus 4 over x minus 6 over x squared. Well, the square root of x to the 4 is the absolute value of x squared. But in this case, we can say it's simply x squared, because if you square a number, you have to have a non-negative quantity, and... When you take the absolute value of a number, you have a non-negative quantity. So the absolute value of x squared is simply x squared. And that's what we have in the denominator as well. Since we have the same factor in the numerator and the denominator, we can cross those out. And so what we're left with is the limit as x goes to negative infinity of this second factor over the second factor. Treating each of these limits individually, we see that this quantity will become infinitely close to zero, as will this quantity as x goes to negative infinity. In the denominator, we see that each of these quantities will become infinitely close to zero as x goes towards uh, negative infinity. And so what we get is the square root of 2 minus 0 minus 0 over 1 minus 0 minus 0. And ultimately, that equals the square root of 2. So the limit as x goes to negative infinity of the original expression is the square root of 2.